it is early. I think they should be required anytime you go through time zones and lose hours. Books of old, the legends and the myths, Achilles and his gold, Achilles and his gifts, Spider-Man's control, and Batman with his fists. And clearly I don't see myself upon the list, she said, and welcome back to my channel. If you have been here before, you probably noticed that the intro at the beginning of this video was not the downtown skyline of Columbus, Ohio at sunrise. In fact, this video, since it is dedicated to travel and my most recent trip, I decided to make the beginning of the video downtown sites of St. Louis, Missouri, which is actually where I just got back from literally... I've been back from the airport for one hour and ten minutes because I wanted to make this video when the trip was still kind of fresh. I haven't even unpacked my bag. I haven't even taken a shower, but I took one yesterday, so I ain't that gross. Since I talk a lot about money and budget and finance on this channel, and I like to travel a lot, I figure why not combine both topics and share with you guys how I spend money on vacation. Which, when you first hear the term spend money on vacation, you probably think, Kristen, that's the easiest thing in the world. Why are you making a video about this? And it's because I've seen a lot of people, myself included, who will save money because we always know going on a trip saving money, we know that part. It's the whole budgeting the money that you have saved so that you do not go into more debt returning from the vacation that's a little bit overlooked and less talked about. With all that being said, I thought I would take you guys through my weekend trip to St. Louis and explain to you how myself, my boyfriend Christopher, my sister, and her fiance planned a wonderful like 48 hour trip and vacation for Christopher and I to go out and visit and stay within our reasonable budgets and not overspend, but still have a fantastic vacation. She said, where do you wanna go? How much you wanna risk? I'm not looking for somebody with some superhuman gifts, some superhero, some fairy tale. Bliss. Good morning. We've been through security, we've got our bags checked, and most importantly, we got coffee. Chris Rusin's laptop had to get checked because it looks suspicious, as did Chris Rusin. We've got a little bit of time, so we're just kind of hanging out before we get on the airplane. You guys, this might be the lightest I've ever packed to go to St. Louis. This is what I have in my bag for a quick what's in my travel bag. Obviously, passport. A uh, book I'm reading. Underneath the book is my sister's engagement party invite wallet, which definitely needs replaced. Earbuds, boarding pass, glasses, and the most important of them all, the Starbucks. The last time I went to St. Louis, I got the whole road to myself. But this time I'm gonna share with Chris Russo. Do you think it's just because no one wants to sit by you? I'm so excited. Are you excited? Yes. This is like his third flight of his whole life, and I still took the window seat. Aren't you yes. sad? No. Okay. We started planning this trip about two months in advance. The trip itself took place the last weekend of May, which is Memorial Day, but I booked Christopher and I's flights back in March because Southwest had a deal where I believe it was $80 per person each way and I thought that was a great deal for two people to fly to St. Louis and come back round trip. I should also mention that a majority of our airline expense was covered in credit card points. We took care of our flights through credit card points and a little bit of side cash. We took off early Saturday morning at 8 you can also see in the footage that we did have a driver that is my dad he drove us which also alleviated the need to spend money on a taxi or transportation services to the airport the whole point of getting away or wanting to just leave Columbus for the weekend was just to one see my sister and her fiance explore a new city and really just kind of get away for a little bit see the sights I had been to st. Louis before but I hadn't seen the arch so I thought it would be a good time to take Christopher and some of my other family members to go downtown and explore. How was the flight? Did I sing on the flight? A little bit. Is this appropriate? No. Am I going to get pulled over by TSA? I hope so. So I think the plan is my sister and Luke are picking us up and we're doing a tour of St. Louis. 
And then my sister made us an actual itinerary and we have not seen it. The reason why it's St. Louis is because my sister and her fiance are there in medical school. So they've got the eight year trek in that beautiful city. And I would love to be able to go once or twice a year and just explore a little bit of St. Louis. She said, where do you wanna go? How much you wanna risk? I'm not looking for somebody with some superhuman gifts, some superhero, some fairy tale bliss, just something I can turn to. The first thing we did upon landing was go to a tea house, which brings me to my first point which is loosely plan out where you'll be headed on your trip. We didn't just fly to St. Louis and say, okay, we're here, where can we spend all our money? My sister and I kind of talked about things we would like to do and we formed a loose itinerary. Now I know the whole point of a vacation is to not be on a strict schedule. You can kind of do what you want and relax along the way and we totally did that, I promise you. But seeing as the first stop we did, outside of the airport, didn't even go to her home yet. We went straight to a tea house and had like a little afternoon tea and they served us so much food and the food was amazing. But we knew that we would be having a light lunch and we kind of budgeted it out and my sister and I split this bill 50-50 and then moved on to our next adventure, which was walking through a park. They lift, but I am not the kind of person that it fits. She said, where do you want to go? How much you want to risk? I'm not looking for somebody. This brings me to number two of my tips, which is mix activities that you pay for and that are free. So you see, we went to that tea house that was obviously, you know, wasn't free. We had to pay for that, but it was well worth it. But then we mixed it in with walking downtown, going to a park. We figured that we didn't need to do things that cost like money, 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 money. We wanted to explore. And St. Louis, ironically, their zoo was free, their museum was free. Like a lot of things were free if you just kind of know the area or go to one of those tourist stops and kind of pick up brochures to see what is free. They are more than accom they're more they are more than willing to accommodate with you and they're wonderful when it comes to hospitality. After going to the park, we made our way to their home, unpacked and relaxed for a little bit. After our nap, we went to a wonderful Italian restaurant, had dinner, and then decided, since it was vacation, we would venture through St. Louis until we found a gelato shop. The next morning, my sister lives next to a really great local coffee house. Got coffee, it's not raining, and everything is good. Uh, it's Sunday, and Christopher and I walked from my sister's place to a coffee shop, and now we are going back to get ready. We're going to a nice fancy brunch this morning because my sister's fiance, Luke, has finished his first year of the eight year track of medical school. So we are going to go get. <laughs> We're gonna camera, trip. My cameraman does his own stunts. Um, we're gonna go get some brunch and then we're gonna go to the arch today because we couldn't go yesterday because of the rain. And then, I don't know what we're doing. Christopher, do you, do you check the itinerary? I didn't get it. On the walk back from her apartment, we did check out this really beautiful community garden. Uh, we couldn't pick anything clearly because we didn't plant it, but it's still nice to just walk through. St. Louis is such a unique city. They have things like community gardens, community book boxes where you can drop off a book if you'd like somebody else to read it or pick up a book if something looks interesting to you. After stopping at our coffee house, we headed out to a fantastic brunch. I'm not looking for somebody with some superhuman gifts, some superhero, some fairy tale bits, just something I can turn to, somebody I can kiss, I want something. We did eat, as you noticed, we did eat out at nicer restaurants, but we were able to do that because our airfare was discounted because of points. We were staying at my sister's home and we didn't need to have a car there because they had a car and we either walked or used the metro or their car. So we were able to alleviate travel cost and lodging costs, therefore we were able to spend a little bit more on brunch. After brunch, we did jump onto the metro and head downtown to see a little bit more of the city. Because we couldn't see it yesterday, we went to the arch. 
I've been reading books of old, the legends and the myths, the testaments they told, the moon and its eclipse, and Superman arose a suit before he lived. But I am not the kind of person that it fits. She said, Where do you wanna go? How much you wanna risk? I'm not looking for somebody with some superhuman gifts. Superhero, some fairy tales. After seeing some of the downtown sights, we jumped back on the metro, headed back towards her side of the city, and checked out the St. Louis Museum of Art. And then to finish out the day, we decided to attempt paddle boating. They like going behind us. And then after that, we headed back to my sister's house where she and Luke made us a fantastic dinner. It was just an entree salad. It had different types of greens, cam candied nuts, dried cherries, uh, goat cheese, sliced fresh pear. It was so good. And that brings me to my last and final tip on how to spend money on vacation. Have an out of pocket maximum. I understand emergencies can happen, and they, they could, and they sometimes do, but have an out-of-pocket max. We did not hit an out-of-pocket max, but because we went out and ate Italian food the night before, we had gone out and got gelato the night before, and we had brunch that day, and had stopped to get a couple drinks between the Arch and the City Museum, we decided it would be better to just have a nice relaxing final night in. They made us a little bit of dinner, we had ice cream, we played Mario Kart, but yes, tip number four, have an out-of-pocket max. Oh, Kristen, way. what did I just make you do? You made me play Rainbow Road and I came in second place! Rainbow Road, 200cc. And with that night, our trip to St. Louis was over. It was only 48 hours, but I feel like we did so much in that amount of time. It made it totally worth it. We had a nice smooth flight back to Columbus, Ohio. And thus ends my Memorial Day adventure. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any other tips on how to save money when you are on vacation or just traveling, please leave them in the comment section down below. If you like these kind of videos that are kind of informational and a vlog in one, give this one a thumbs up to let me know you like it. And if you are new to this channel, make sure to click the little red subscription button down below. It'll update you to each and every future video that I post. I have several new ones coming out for the summer, which I'm very excited to share with you all. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one that the intro of today's video was not the downtown skyline of Columbus, Ohio at sunrise. In fact, it was, did I say Ohio? Aww. I mean, it's only gonna fly plane. Yeah. yeah, he's always here. He's always here.